พี่น้องเราสบายดีข้าพเจ้ากุดพนทองเฮียลาวนาซาวีอาแบ็กเกจูคำคืนนี้ข้าพเจ้ามีข่าวดีและก็ very exciting news ภูมิใจที่สุดที่ได้มันแนะนำให้พ่อแม่พี่น้องฮูได้เกี่ยวกับภาพยนตร์ลาวเรื่องนี้ลาว redemption so it's about the สงครามเวียดนาม back in the day and เกี่ยวกับระเบิด270ล้านหน่วยที่ที่ระเบิดถึงถึงเมืองลาวในปีนั้นและก็เฮาซีมาเว้ากับ producer ของเรื่องนี้ and the cast of the film we want to get to know them let me introduce you to Mr Michael Mitchell the producer director of this movie สบายดี Michael สบายดีพี่น้องสบายดี Love Redemption which scheduled to release in 2021 Yes What was your inspiration to do this movie? Years ago, I, I wrote a script in Bob because I've always, always wanted to use some gangsters uh, and going undercover. It wasn't until Barack Obama, President Obama, went to Laos to uh, distribute some funds and allocate some funds for the removal of the like, unexploded bombs. So I altered the script to fit Obama's visit to to Laos. And the original script, it wasn't written to be a Lao movie. It wasn't written to be an African American or a movie. It was just written with some agents. But since I'm so connected to the Lao community here in Chicago, Elgin, and through my wife, uh, I said, okay, well, let me do another film with a Lao cast. I've, I've always been fascinated by CIA and undercover agents, so I wrote the script and transferred it into a Lao culture. Uh, film experience. What what can we expect from this film? What from this movie, Michael? Well, it's a good entertainment for a, a entire family. Um, it's more or less a drama film, but I want the Lao community to not expect a hundred million dollar. Those films that had a huge budget, mm -hmm. don't expect uh, action packed bombs being blown up and and uh, cars. People jumping off building, you know, because we're an independent. I'm an independent film producer, and I use a cast of inexperienced actors, except for Jessica, who's done several movies before. So don't expect a whole lot, but we did the best we could could with what we had. So expect a drama movie about some refugees and what they did after they came here to the United States. They all grown up. Uh, they took on the role of a CIA agent to help retrieve some information to get some funds from the United States because of the problems that we had or they had during uh, the Vietnam War. So the movie is a good entertainment uh, film. It's a little bit over an hour long, and expect some unexperienced actors to look professional in this movie. And it's it's a good film. It's a good film. How did you pick the title for this movie? How did that come about? You know, I wanted to, to the title to reflect the people and what the whole movie was about in three words. Mm -hmm. I originally wanted to make the uh, movie titled uh, "The Secret War," uh, but it didn't specify Laos. So I thought about making the movie title. The war, the, the war was not a secret to us, which is one of the lines in the movie. But I wanted to be more direct, and I figured if we go with the Lao Redemption, mm. because that's what happened in the end. And we all know Obama allocated the ninety million dollars, right? Which was a redemption uh, gesture from the United States. Mm. So okay. that's why I came up with the Lao Redemption. Originally, I thought about doing 
the secret war or uh, the war was not a secret. I used, I had, I juggled with all those titles before I came up with the Lao Redemption and the Lao Redemption kind of stuck. Wow. And that's basically what happened. Laos was redeemed for what they had. So I told you what it's about, but you, the audience would need to watch it to find out how I wrote it and how it was transpired and what the CIA agents did to get the redeem. Mm. To the redemption. Wow. When I brought the script from a regular uh, film to a Lao cast, I knew since Barack Obama was a major part in the uh, in that transaction with the the money, I had to cast a Barack Obama lookalike. I went to a couple of casting sites and I kept looking and I searched and the name Bronx Obama kept popping up. I reached out to a couple of guys and I saw only three that I thought would be good. Finally met um, Bronx Obama. He's a busy guy. He has a lot of work and he's touring all over the world. So he wouldn't respond to my initial uh, contacts. So I went through his daughter mm. to get him. I said, tell your dad I need him for a movie. And she said, what kind of movie? And I told her and she said, okay, I'll tell her. So wow. he wouldn't even respond. So I had to reach him through his daughter and his daughter contacted him. That's how I found Bronx Obama. And here he is, he can tell you all about himself. Well, folks, let's get to know Mr. President here, Bronx Obama. So can you please introduce yourself? My name is Luis Ortiz. Uh, I am, an, I, I would like to say an accidental uh, actor. <laughs> this, 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 this whole acting thing landed on my lap and uh, I've been presented with opportunities that I could never dream of, uh, you know, performing for the Dalai Lama in Australia, uh, you know, hanging out with some big celebrities and doing some good, you know, private events. But uh, my first, this is not my first film, but this is my first serious film. I've been in comedy films in Japan as Obama, uh, but this was my first serious role as the president, uh, President Obama. And, you know, for that, I thank you, Michael, for reaching out and being persistent and not giving up on, you know, finding me. And, you know, you reached through me through my daughter. And uh, it's been a it's been a it's been a great experience working with uh, with all these actors, you know, uh, from Laos. And, you know, I actually have never met anybody from Laos until, you know, Michael introduced me to everybody. So thank you for that. And thank you, everybody. Before we let you go, would you please send out a quick message to the Lao audience that follow Lao in the South? We got people from all over the world that's going to be checking in on us. Uh, I invite you all to check it out. Uh, not only uh, to check me out, but to check out a really, really uh, touching story. Uh, war, war is a bad thing, but for you to have gone through what you went through and you're still here and you're proud people and what Obama did was pledge 90 million for the removal of these bombs, that had a big impact on a lot of souls, you know, because to this day, bombs are still being exploded and that 90 million helps to remove all that. So. I'm just really proud and happy to be a part of this. Really, really happy to be a part of this. I need to learn to put my pride in my pocket. Ay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You was right. Okay. Oh, Smiley, you know, see, Kanoi, Curly, come la pom. I'm from San Diego, California. Kanoi, um, see, Jessica, that's not saying that. You, you, Illinois, Danina. My name is uh, Stephen Kale Kinmini, and I stay in Greensboro, North Carolina. No, I see Tony. Um, he's on the phone. My um, good mom, Boston, Massachusetts. Hey, Spidey, to call him Pinong. I'm from Nebraska. I heard a lot of people say it. Nice to meet you. Spidey, Pinong. So, Kanoi, so, Sakarin, C. Sawat, called YouTube, called Facebook, and called Brick Wall. You Minnesota, also known as uh, Gumby. Body from that, you know, uh, Ray, Martha, Minnesota, Savannah Cave, Bantam, 
So what role do you play in this? Quay Lin, um, one of the main roles, been CIA director of Southeast Asia. I play a CIA agent and a hitman at the same time. I guess ex gangster slash CIA slash just a, just a guy trying to do right by everybody. Uh, I play a CIA agent slash gangster. Couldn't tell, bro. You're too proper for that for that <laughs> role, bro. Uncover a CIA agent in a group of gangsters trying to steal some fouls. Okay. <laughs> um So pretty much handling uh, any any anything that has to deal with the Southeast Asian people. And uh, my role is putting the plot together and 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 hiring the CIA agents. So how does it feel with the rogue is on the other side? <laughs> Feel good, to be, feel good to be a good guy for once. There you like go. I said, you know, I'd rather be bad turn good instead of later on be bad, you know, be good turn bad. Nice, you know? well said. Well <laughs> said. Well said. I like that. Well, I like. Been undercover by Sok, um, yeah, Sok, Hong, um, Hong Lap, and uh, to present it to the president so he can take it and review it. So, let me allow to. Mm-hmm. to remove the level, you know, the bomb. Was it difficult to play this role, Jessica, since you're the only female on the cast? Um, I think it's very difficult to play it. Yeah, it was. It was. But, I mean, I, I had to fall into it, so, you know, it yeah, just came to me. It's hard to play it, because I don't know. No, but with... <laughs> Just trying to get into uh, the whole acting scene. Learn my lines in the last minute. I'll, we were in Saginaw. He's like, hey, I need you to kill me. I'm just like, whoa, you my brother. I, what do you mean you want me to kill you? I act like it's not that. But this is the มันคือเหตุน่ะอืมคําว่าอันไมเคิลเป็นดีเรคเตอร์เป็นแบบ <laughs> Basically, out of nowhere, too, how Michael just said I was the one winner cast that got pulled out, pulled into the movie out of nowhere. Kind of familiar with as far as growing up when I was young. You know, getting into trouble, going to juvie, getting locked up, and all that stuff. I mean, hit YouTube, hit YouTube, come on. It's easy because it's freestyle, right? Right. This thing is, like, nah, and you gotta read your script, so you're, you're, your facial expression has to to match the script, and it was challenging at the beginning. But move these songs, these hamala, gin launam the crew. So <laughs> you get a little loose, you know, after that. So it it, it, it was like a whole throw off from real quick, but Michael and saving everybody like eased me into it. I'm like, okay, I got you. So, but pretty much the whole thing was uh, just getting to character. I'm normally a writer, Kian, Kian, and then I memorize, like, I'm uh, memorize in my head, mm-hmm. and I can just express my feeling and everything. Right. But when Michael throw it out, like, uh, two, three days ahead, we have to hurry up and memorize it. That's what I need to wow. get it in, like, get it right away. You done any acting before this movie? Can acting, but any first time, Ling Nang? No, I haven't. This is the first time I haven't done no acting before this movie. I've done some acting, but never like a speaking role. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I did uh 
a uh, few seasons of Chicago PD, nice. uh, the TV series, which was all background acting. And it, it was no no talking, none of that, but it was featured roles. So uh, got aired on TV, you know, face scene and stuff like that. It's just nobody ever heard me speaking. Unless unless you go check out the music, then you can hear the music. And it, 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 a lot of times I get this, it doesn't match the face. Right. The sound doesn't match, you know, because I get it all the time. Hey, you sound black. Well, I grew up in America and my, <laughs> my awesome. ESL teacher was a black teacher. She taught me how to speak. So, you know, I go home and I speak a little bit aloud because, you know, me move Google, but we speak the, the street loud mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, I didn't really have like the, a, a lot of OGs around to speak loud to me at that time. Not in a not in a movie role, you know, like but I have been in like documentary and uh, a music video. ก็มีสิบากับเฮดน่ะแสดงหนังขั้นจอน้อยไม่ได้ไม่ได้จอใหญ่ขนาดแต่ก็เคยเฮดยูอันอันหนังใหญ่เป็นเอ็กซ์
uh, YouTube. You know, check out the YouTube, the videos on there and stuff. Uh, I'm on uh, Facebook also as HMJ underscore YNV. HMJ is a business with me and my wifey, and we do uh, hot mama jerkies. Nice. This is, you know, Konlao flavor. Support the movie, you know. I mean, you can find the uh, page on Facebook, The Lao Redemption. You want to know what goes on after I fell off the boat? <laughs> okay. Watch well, the movie. <laughs> we can't wait. <laughs> Folks, Steven, right there, guy. He don't talk much, but he's serious, y'all. So we can't <laughs> wait to see that. <laughs> um, can I you Facebook? Uh, you can have I just got up the um, Lua Instagram, ka you just got underscore Mali. Um, you can bung wa IMBD, um, wa dang yang ti kanoi sedang. There, a ya hai, um, uh, uh, pome punang to con ma bung nang to ni ho wa man, man bo ku nang ti hao kui mi do ni na man. มันเพราะว่าพ่อแม่ขน้อยเป็นมาจากกันจากเมืองลาวเมืองไทยแล้วก็เอาออเวสบอกอันสตอรี่มาให้มาให้ว่ามันเป็นยังไงตอนนั้
the eyes and allow a community to, to these younger kids too, to put them on game and, and, and understand like exactly what the Lao Redemption is about. But other than that, it's just the whole experience, just being around everybody. Uh, everybody had good spirits, you know what I mean? It was just fun. Uh, so that was pretty much about it, really. Well, you gotta pave the road here, man. You're setting the, you know, for the future generation for, for Lao, huh? We put, put you guys, you know, for Lao on the map. And um, Mr. Brick, yeah, give, us, yeah. give us your input. What, what, what stick out the most in your mind? Man, I think the most memorable thing, memorable moment was the first day that we all met up in Chicago to shoot. I think it was the break-in scenes. And like I said, with the old man that was, uh, there was this old man that was riding the elevator or riding the little elevator with us. And he was, he was hiding and we didn't, didn't nobody know who, who was there and, and <laughs> at the end of the day we're, we're looking through the film we're looking through the uh the reels and like hey who's that in there oh what he was hiding <laughs> what's he doing in there but other than that it's just shooting you know all these uh tight small spaces and all these uh, uh crates and all this warehouse stuff and then getting into the building and then once you get into that building and we're walking around and like like it didn't seem like such a big deal until we walked up, you know, and we walked up to the front of the building and you see this big beam out in Chicago. This is Chicago, you know? So mm. it was like, hold on, we're not in some alley somewhere shooting, you know, like these, but we're actually, bam, you can see this whole bean and, and, the, and, and the, the park and like that to me at that point was like, wow, we're really doing something now. We're really doing a movie about this. This is, this is really happening, you know what I mean? Like. Before that, it was just, oh, let's shoot some couple scenes at Lao New Year. It, it didn't occur to me yet at that time that it was going to be such an epic type mm -hmm. movie. But then just from that first day and meeting everybody and then getting the, the, the energy and feeding off the energy and the vibe off everybody, I knew that it, that wasn't that wasn't going to be it. It was it was just going to take off more from there. You know, we're just going to end up uh, getting better and better at, at, at all this and, and, and finally getting it done and then like Gumby said when they said it when they when they call it's a wrap it's a wrap you know it's time to celebrate and then man shout out to all the brothers out there I see y'all sisters <laughs> and Michael Laos in the South for having us but even right now as I'm speaking it's memorable to me so awesome these well, are the experience I'm taking with me. thank you so much well said brother well, Miss Jessica, I know this is this is an old road for you, but this is with all the loud cast members. How do you feel about it? I mean, it's just exciting for me just to listen to it. Well, this is my first time ever acting with other Asians. Mm, okay. <laughs> um, it it was really exciting. I was kind of I'm like the baby sister that came late. <laughs> so I walked into a set and you know everybody has been on set for a while and they knew each other and I walked in and all I saw were just thugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like what am I doing here? <laughs> am I in the right place? <laughs> wow. Um but everybody was very nice, very sweet and we did our, we got our job done and you know it's it was an honor to be able to be among other Asian actors, you know, mm. whether you're new or old in acting, it's just, it's refreshing and it's, it's great. That's awesome. What well, the main thing is the movie's done and you, you will never look back like, wow, I can't believe it. you, you acting like this, but look at how, how the finished product, how he came out, right? That's the best part. Well, last but not least, folks, the most outspoken person we have on our cast is Mr. Steven from NC North Carolina represent come on cuz tell us what's up man the most memorable part about this whole movie or whatever yeah <laughs> is being around these guys because these guys are great guys and you know every one of them have their unique thing about them, you know what I'm saying? But mm. it's just being around these guys and doing it with them, you know what I'm saying? For us to break it through with a good cast of people, you know what I'm saying? So I just love being around these guys. These guys are like my family. That's what the mm. most memorable thing about this movie for me, so you know? And you know, these guys, I love these guys, so. 
But first, I want to touch on some memorable moments for this film. And for me, it was day one when I did the refugee scenes and the throwback scenes. So, for instance, the boy in the trailer who says, Mom, why did we leave Laos? That's Curly as a boy. So Curly grew up and became the CIA chief. So that little boy is playing Curly, never acted before. So the kids, there's about 10 of them in the refugee scenes, never acted before. So we did the first scene, the first shoot was the throwback from the 70s. So somebody who's playing Gumby, somebody's playing Steven, somebody's playing Ray, all those little kids are playing them as refugees. So on those little kids, they nailed it. Some of the uh, most memorable moments also was when like uh, Brick said, we were in an office space downtown for the break-in scene, downtown Michigan Avenue in Chicago, beautiful area. We were also on top of the roofs, two roofs in the movie, did some scenes. We were in alleys. We did a whole bunch of acting. I got people from California, Texas, Minnesota, North Carolina, Nebraska, everywhere. <laughs> Nebraska. So we got from all over, uh, Jessica's from Chicago area. And we, we pulled it together good. Lots of people talk about doing movies, but we, we actually did it. Everybody pulled together. Everybody did their part. We did a good, we did a good job with this movie. And um, the cast, they, they, they nailed it. Uh, President Obama, he nailed it, bro. He talked like him in the movie, walked like him, all of that. And one of the things that I want to mention, two things about doing a film, you, you can't do a film good without sponsors. Right. It's, you know, you can't do it. So two of the biggest Laotian sponsors that I got was Curly's company, ATEC. And it's Sarah, I think that's how you pronounce it, from uh, Maryland. Right. The guy who owns in uh, White Tiger. Right, yeah. The, the first and the only Laotian distillery that I know of. And a, an interesting fact about him, I've done a lot of projects good, and I usually get uh, sponsorship. Never have I ever got a, somebody, I replied to somebody or requested somebody to sp help sponsor. This guy, within two hours, he said, Michael, what do I do? What do I send a check? Wow. Within two hours. That's, you know, and you'll usually take months, weeks, a year for somebody to respond with sponsorship. Right. Within two hours, White Tiger Distillery. And I have a special treat for him in the movie that he don't even know about. Oh, so okay. shout out to White Tiger and Curly for the sponsorship. And uh, man, it, it, it really helped. It really helped. Come and support, show some love for Lao Redemption with all Lao cast member. And Mr. Michael Mitchell here is heading in. He's the one that's putting everything together. And we might get to see more of this guy in the future. So don't forget to show some love and be there. Pinong Sao Lao Tutukun, Vietnam Nung Chai Diao Gan. And come together, let's go. Let's lift up Lao people. It's our time 2020. Let's do it. Guy 2021 coming out. Lao Redemption's coming out. So Pinong, thank you. I want to thank you, each and every one of you that's here tonight. Lao in the South is proud. And Pum Jai Tisana Tutukun Tutukun. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to us. Ciao, ciao. Let's do this. Loud in the south, we're out. Peace. So we can do a special little thing. I know we always want to agree. Can't always have it my way. But I don't want you to leave. Please stay. I need to learn to put my pride in my pocket. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I admit it, that trade can be toxic I, Yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know. You was right I'm just so stubborn at times Stubborn at times Stubborn at times I'm just so stubborn at times Stubborn at times Stubborn at times I need I to learn to put my pride in my pocket I, Yeah, I know, I know, I know You was right I admit it, that trade can be toxic I, Yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know. I'm just so stubborn at times, stubborn at times, stubborn at times. I'm just so stubborn at times, stubborn at times, stubborn at times.